Hello, my name is Jeff Hudson and I am the Interim CEO and President of Union Rescue Mission. And welcome. Welcome to Hope Gardens, which is where, where we are filming today. If you have put up with me for over the last nine months, you've seen this chair, or a chair very much like it, visiting different places within Union Rescue Mission. The first month we started out on Skid Row, the streets of Skid Row where a lot of our guests come from. Where we are today is really the end of the journey in a lot of ways, but the beginning of the journey in so many others. We are at Hope Gardens. This is a facility which we have operated for the last 20 years for women and children. I want to talk just for a second about our speaker today, Catherine Pitt. Catherine is 42 years old. She is a domestic abuse survivor. She has grandchildren and children. I'm not going to tell you how many, but after being pushed around for quite a while, she ended up coming to us, to you, our partners at Union Rescue Mission, and has continued to grow here at Hope Gardens, been reunited with her children, and is now coming back and speaking to all of the graduates here. This to me is a beautiful, beautiful reminder of how God will renew us and bring us back. This woman, Catherine, came back so that she could speak to others. She has been blessed, just as we have, to be a blessing to others and I'm really excited to see her. So our 5K, or 5K run, or 5K jog, or in my case, 5K stroll with my dog. That took place last week out at the Rose Bowl, and it was a wonderful event. We had hundreds of runners out there, and it was actually a rather spirited event, not necessarily among me and my strolling group, but runners. We had a number of winners who were very young, and some who are a little bit older. Every participant was eligible to win either an electric bike or a scooter. And get this, a Hope Gardens mom and now Hope Gardens staff member, Denise, won an electric bike. Denise, congratulations. Pepperdine Legal Aid Clinic Administrative Assistant Edith also won an electric bike. Now Pepperdine Legal Aid is really an amazing group which operates downtown in our, in our mission and helps out in different areas where we're working. The legal aid group through Pepperdine is able to work with our guests, help them in a number of different areas to prepare people for being ready to get out and be back into society. So the 5K was a huge success. This is our most successful 5K yet. We raised nearly $900,000. So we thank you all so much, those of you who walked ran or strolled, and those of you who are praying for us and also helping us out with donations. The next event I wanted to share with you is Father's Day, and we celebrated at Union Rescue Mission with our Angelus House dads on our rooftop with a delicious pupusa luncheon along with each dad received LA Lakers gear. Now, just as an anecdote about Father's Day, this is a particularly poignant opportunity for dads to reunite with their children. Sometimes it is dads who have not seen their kids for years or seen their family for years. Father's Day, which is something that a lot of us take for granted, is something which is so rare and precious among the homeless that this is truly a wonderful, wonderful time. And in this one, we had 96 men who came and participated. So. Now we're at back at Hope Gardens. The graduation is today, June 22nd, and we have 13 precious Hope Gardens moms graduate. Their stories are as wide and really remarkable as Catherine's, as she has come back from a tremendous amount of work and time getting her life together. And we have 13 more stories. So again, we look at there are 60 to 70,000 people on the street and it breaks our heart. And I know that it breaks you, our partners' hearts. But when you see a graduation like this and you hear Catherine and you see these young women coming forward, reunited with their children, you know that there is hope. And to us, hope is an expectation. It's not a dream. Hope through Christ and through helping people in need is what Union Rescue Mission does. So, 
coming up in July, as we would all expect, of course, it's Christmas. Last time I checked, in July, we have our Christmas out here at Hope Gardens. And believe it or not, we will bring a ton of snow. And looking at numbers again, because the, the numbers are something that really strikes us all, but it's all individuals. We have 503 children right now. These are children who were homeless until you came along and reached, reached out your hands. And along with the staff at Union Rescue Mission, you have brought them here. So the kids in Christmas summer are gonna be having a great time enjoying sled rides in the snow, carnival games, bounce houses, water slide, a dunk tank, and of course, who wouldn't be, who wouldn't be here but Santa. Santa will be here for summer in the Christmas party. So that's something that's very exciting. And I'll tell you, the kids go bonkers. They have so much fun throwing snowballs at each other. Another thing that, that we're often asked here at Union Rescue Mission, not only by donors, but by so many people that we meet with and talk to is, how are you collaborating with the city and the county and the state? Because clearly there is a lot of money going into serving the homeless. Union Rescue Mission, as you know, does not receive any public funding because of the fact that we are one, faith-based, and two, we do not follow the harm reduction model, which is something that I, that I would love to speak to you more about another time. But that does not mean that we do not continue to collaborate with the city, state, and county. Uh, recently, we had a meeting with the mayor's office. I may have told you about that last month, but Mayor Bass was gracious enough to come by Union Rescue Mission and spent literally two and a half hours with us with a small group of staff. She went, she visited with us, she visited guests, she walked through our entire facility in downtown Los Angeles, and she was touched. She was touched not only by the guests that we have and by the peace and safety that they were enjoying, she was very much impressed by the fact that we are able to do this with your help and with your donations. And it is something that there are no city strings, no attachments to. But that doesn't mean that we will not continue working with the city to collaborate, to work together, and to come up with different ideas and different ways to help the homeless. So, to button this up, we are welcoming volunteers. I've been involved with the Union Rescue Mission now for almost 20 years, and volunteers were never really tough for us to get. Recently, and really starting with COVID, people stopped coming down here. When I say here, I mean Union Rescue Mission and Hope Gardens and Angela's House, just because of the fact that we all had to be separated. As we have emerged from COVID and we are back in operations and we are taking our kids everywhere, we need more volunteers. Help in the kitchen, and that's always a fun project to come and bring your family. It's also a good way to teach the kids how to do dishes but that's not important now. And to support the various operational projects around the facility. Another great option for volunteer groups is to host or sponsor a movie night or a fun day for our youth while they are off for a summer break. We also need help organizing food donations in our basement warehouse. This is a weekly need. At Hope Gardens, where I am right now, volunteers are needed to host special crafts or game times for our Sequoia seniors. We have a number of women who have lived here for well over the two years that they go through the programs, but they still need help and attention. And we are loving them and we are supporting them. And we would love to have you come down and meet them because they miss you. They want to see you and they would love to know that there are people outside praying for them, as we tell them, and willing to come down and give them a hug and work with them. So volunteers are desperately needed out here, and this is in Silmar. Hopefully that's close enough for you. We have another desperate need for volunteers in our PEEPs, and these are our little ones children's programs for the babies up to five-year-old and youth. Monday through Thursday between eight and four, our volunteers must be at least 18 years old and go through a background check. At Angela's house, that's where our families stay. Volunteers are desperately needed for the kitchen. Again, breakfast, lunch, dinner, great way for your kids to learn how to do dishes. Volunteers are needed for childcare, Monday and Tuesday evenings. 
Again, they must be at least 18 years old and go through a background check. We have back to school event on July 27th, and we could use some help with setup on that. Execution, setup, and yep, cleanup. So again, individual volunteers can use our volunteer portal at urm.org to register. That's the easiest, fastest, and most direct, direct way. Or you can go to and get inquiries answered at volunteer at urm.org. So I thank you for putting up with me for this longer video. I appreciate you being with me at Hope Gardens. And all of us as the staff at Union Rescue Mission appreciate you so much. Without you, this graduation would not be play taking place. These women may not be reuniting with their children. Without you, they do not have these safe facilities and the staff that loves them and serves them. Personally, I thank you. God bless you and have a great day.